OG Beauties, it's mommy. And it's me. And we are back with another video. So today's video is going to be directed towards all of the moms on TikTok who have been requesting my help. So um, I have had a lot of moms reaching out to me asking for help on how to do their kids hair. I'm going to be making a few videos answering a lot of the same questions that I received. So today's video is because like 80% of the questions that I received was my child is tender headed. They will not let me comb their hair. They refuse to do anything. I help me comb their hair, hydrate their hair, and style it in a way that is going to allow you know that moisture to seep in um and that it needs like minimal management throughout the week so i'm going to go ahead and show you how the easiest way to comb their hair and it does require the shower which is why she is in her swimsuit um so i'm going to show you how to comb their hair the easiest fastest way um and then I'm going to show you um, probably like two hairstyles that will be perfect for um, low management, um, but they're super, super easy. So they'll be really quick and you, it, you won't have to like recomb their hair to manage the hairstyle for the week or for, you know, until their next wash day. Some like hers is every two to three days. Some are, are once a week. You know, everybody's hair texture is very, very, very different. So let's get into it. We we'll just take her hair out and we're gonna go ahead and wash it. When I go this way, it looks like a mold. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, Aussie's Miracle Moisture Shampoo and we are going to apply that i do have one of these um it's like a scalp massager but i do actually use this to comb her hair um sometimes i'll put the shampoo on here and then like comb or like um wash her hair that way hold this but today i'm gonna do it this way for you guys so i do So I do focus very much on her scalp. Here, I just put it on my hand and I will just go in circles all throughout her hair and make sure her scalp is getting a good scrub. Now that her hair is all shampooed, I'm gonna go ahead and take the conditioner and you're going to want to be very, very, generous. very generous. So you're going to start from the bottom with a generous amount of conditioner in their hair because the conditioner is going to help the comb go through. You're gonna start from the bottom and you're gonna hold it tight here 
so that when you comb, you're pulling the hair out of the comb instead of pulling the comb down on their hair. Like, do you see the difference? Like, pull the hair out of the comb rather than pulling this way. You see the head jerk back opposed to this way. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this all throughout her hair. And if you do decide to do it this way, just make sure you kind of work it down slowly. I'm only doing it this way right now so you guys can get a better view so my arm's not like in the camera. So you can work it slow. So like right here there's a knot, right? There's knots. So we're gonna go from underneath it, comb it gently. And now that knot right there is worked out. We're gonna just keep repeating this process obviously until the comb runs smoothly through all of the hair. So now the comb moves smoothly through her hair, it doesn't get caught no matter which way I comb it. So she's nice and combed out. I'm just making sure. Go from the bottom, go from the sides. Okay, so no matter which direction I comb, she is nice and combed out so and now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm going to let her take her swimsuit off and have her shower i'm gonna let her you know wash up and everything and then we will be back with some products that i'm going to be putting in her hair for overnight as well as showing you guys um a uh, hair how to wrap her how to wrap their hair up at night put it up so it doesn't get all tangly and um, some protective styles, well, some styles that you can, low maintenance hairstyles. I'm gonna show you guys some low maintenance hairstyles after she gets out of the shower. She is out of the shower, and her hair is nice and washed and lovely. And fluffy. And well, it's not fluffy right now, Tara. Okay, so this is what her hair looks like when she is fresh out of the shower. So you're gonna take your leave-in conditioner. This is the one that I am using here. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor Oil Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And I am going to apply this to her hair very, very generously, okay? Like, you want moisturized yeah. hair. You do not have to part it into sections to apply it. We're going to want to lather the hair. Make sure it's all coated. She has a very dry middle part of her head. So I am making sure to apply some extra product. To the middle of her head and then I am just gonna break it through with my fingers make sure the tips are coated and then I'm going to take um, our brush comb whatever you like to call it is a Denman brush is what I am using our Denman brush and I am going to comb her hair starting from the bottom and work my way to the top just to make sure that all of the product is evenly distributed through her hair. 
distributed through her hair. Now, depending on how tender-headed your child is, is of course how light you're going to be brushing. So now that um, I have the leave-in conditioner all throughout her hair, I am going to go ahead and go in with some oil. Oh yeah, this one's broken. Seal in, lock in that moisture from the leave-in conditioner with this oil. So this is um, Miracle Moisture from My Af African Pride. Um, it has five essential oils in it, uh, including vitamin E, castor oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. Um, I am going to go ahead and just seal that in, do a light coat of this um, throughout her hair. And of course, I'm going to comb it again to make sure that the product is evenly distributed. Um, the reason why we apply an oil after the leave-in conditioner is because we want that oil to create a barrier around the leave-in conditioner, around the hair follicles, to make sure none of that moisture comes out or anything else like harmful can really penetrate in. Um, so that's why we do that oil. We seal it in with that oil. Again, she does have a very dry middle part of her hair. Middle part of her hair. So I will make sure that that gets. We need to get some more gel, but we need to, we need to get some more oil. To make sure the middle part of her head is coated, of course, we're gonna go in and comb through it again. Now, if you sorry, if you do have a super, super, super tender headed um, child, it is okay to work in little sections, part it into fours, do one fourth, one square at a time, part it in half, do the bottom half, then do the top half. It's do what works best for you and your child. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the first hairstyle that you can, you know, use throughout the week. Um, and this is one of her favorites when she knows that she doesn't want, hand me that brush. Um, this is one of her favorites when she knows that she isn't going to want to get her hair done in the morning or she's just super excited to go to school or go somewhere, this is one of the hairstyles. I also do this on days where we like get out of the pool and we just need something simple that lets her hair, you know, absorb all of the nutrients that it needs to absorb from after the pool. So I just take a brush. This is her dad's wine brush. We're not supposed to use the brush. Um, just take a brush, and this is a very light brush. You can use a hard bristle brush. And I'm just smoothing the hair back after it's been all combed through, all nice and moisturized. Sometimes you don't even need the brush, but then you take it and simple braid no corn roll just a simple braid all the way down you can secure it with a rubber band Ta -da. and now you have it's cute it's so simple I'm just gonna have to secure it with a twist right here so it's cute it's simple you can just if you really wanted to you know make it cuter fancier I know you can pull out your baby hairs, do your baby hairs, but I think it looks really cute when it's just all slipped back. They got their earrings on, they look cute. Now, how you're gonna maintain it throughout the week because this part of the hair is gonna get crazy. Oh, it was hair. So this part of the hair throughout the week is going to get crazy as they play, as they, you know, do what they gotta do. But the beauty of it is the braid, it is so, you got, they gotta be purposely trying to mess up a braid. What you're, all you're gonna need to do is, let's say tomorrow, all you're gonna need is take a spray bottle, spray it with some water at the top, undo the braid, brush it all back, 
and re-braid the hair. Even if you brush it, so you spray it, you brush it all back. You see how now right here, you see like now right here, is it so cute? You could take a hair tie and hair tie it. So now it's in like a braided ponytail. And once you have that hair tie in, then you can unbraid the braid and then rebraid it up. You can unbraid the braid and let, you know, the chunks that the braid that the hair will dry into, you can separate that and just pull it apart and it will leave a really cute curl pattern. That's hairstyle number one that you can use to maintain throughout the week. Now I'm doing super simple ones because not everybody is advanced as others. Not everybody, not everybody. you know, we start, it's, it's, it's level one, okay? Hairstyle number two is a nice high bun, top knot hairstyle. This is one that you're gonna wanna do fresh out the shower, especially if your baby is tender headed. You're gonna wanna make sure all of that hair, while they're out the shower, and they're nice and, you know, their hair's got all that leave-in conditioner and product in it. You're gonna get all of the hair up into a high ponytail. I'm not making it like the best right now because it's not gonna stay in this hairstyle. But you can get your, you know, get all the hair up. So this is cute for school. I wore this for school. Okay. Okay, so ignore this part. I just quickly just brushed it. So once you have the hair in um, your high ponytail, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the ponytail is combed through. Again, this is very important for maintaining the hair throughout the week, hold this. So once it's all nice and combed through, you're going to twist all of the hair. This, you're going to want it twisted tightly um, because this is going to help so you have less struggle if you choose to comb through this again later in the week. So you're going to twist and you're going to just wrap it around the hair. And then you could secure it. Pick your head up. Look at the camera. Okay, her, her bun would be a little bit higher than this. It would be up here more. Um, but once you have it twisted around in this cute top knot, you would secure it with a hair tie. And then throughout the week, all you would have to do is untwist this from around the ponytail, apply some water, maybe add a little bit of extra gel to hold in those flyaways, those baby hairs, brush it back up, retighten the hair tie, and this should still be able to just be twisted and go right into another top knot. You can then tw you can braid this port part um, another day if you wanted. You could braid it and have it into a top knot bun. You could braid it and leave it into a long high ponytail, um, a braided high ponytail. Um, another day when you're about to wash it again, you can you know wet wet this part of the ponytail and kind of finger it. You know, let this part come out and have a cute little ponytail. Even, you could change it into a messy bun and just, you know, on like day, the day before wash day. Remember, messy buns are only for the day that you're about to wash. The day before you're about to wash your hair. So then secure it here and you're done. That's how you maintain it for the week. Now I'm taking this out because her hair is actually going to be down tomorrow. And so I will show you guys how I do her, you know, hair down um, in a completely different video. Um, but for now, that is it. Oh, and then when they go to bed, you will have a bonnet. Have their bonnet. This is a kid size bonnet. It was, um, we actually got it sent to us from a fan on our other page. Um, but they are on Amazon. The exact pack that she has is on Amazon. 
but that was it that was it so simple okay come on look comment down below any other questions that you guys have don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and don't forget it's popping girl